Hi, so I'm here to talk about this bass that I have on eBay at the moment. It's a Hona B2A um, headless bass guitar from the 1980s. Uh, I've had this guy for about 20 years. Um, I've just given it a full setup and service. Um, but before I tell you about that, let's have a listen to it. This guitar is uh, built by Hona. Um, it's based on a design by Steinberg, who produced guitars exactly like this and made of graphite. This one is made of wood. It's one piece of wood throughout the whole neck through to the body. Um, it's a headless guitar, which means it obviously doesn't have a headstock. It also barely has a body, so it's nice and lightweight, which uh, makes it super portable and easy uh, to pick up and play. Um, it is, uh, because it's headless, all the tuning is done down here by the machine heads on the bridge. Um, so. As opposed to normal strings, this takes double ball end strings. So they're, they're like strings, but with a ball on either end to hold the string in place. So one ball slips into the top of the neck here, and then the other ball is fastened into place in the bridge. Um, the machine heads can then be tightened or loosened to pull um, the, the, the ball, tightening or loosening the string, changing its pitch. So this guitar has two pickups. Uh, it also has active circuitry, which means it has a preamp built in, which you can turn on and off with this switch. It has a volume control for each pickup, so this volume control controls the neck pickup, this one controls the bridge pickup. Um, it also has a tone pot here, which is uh, basically a low pass filter, which basically rolls off all the top ends so you can have a more muddy tone if you wish to. It also has a direct output, which is an XLR output right next to the jack socket here. It has a transformer so that it's isolated from the rest of the guitar. Um, so if you wish to, you can run the guitar direct out to front of house, if you prefer, without needing to use a DI box. Um, you also have a little leg rest here, which is quite useful. Um, it's quite comfortable to rest on your leg. So as I was mentioning earlier, I've given this thing a full setup and service. I've adjusted the neck uh, so that it's as straight as possible with the slightest bit of relief, enabling me to get the action really nice and low so it's nice and easy to play. Uh, you can do fast runs without any difficulty, um, but I've got it balanced to the point where it's lovely and comfortable to play, but there's still a lot of tonality, so there's, there's minimum fret buzz. I've also adjusted the bridge, so I've set up the intonation, so the intonation's perfect. I've rebuilt the electronics, added some more shielding to it, uh, replaced the switch, which was getting knackered, um, and rebuilt the preamp. Uh, I've rebuilt it from scratch using the original schematics that uh, Hona sent to me. Thanks, Hona! So let's have a listen to the different kind of sounds you can get from this instrument. Uh, first of all, I'm going to example the difference between the passive and active circuitry. First, we'll listen to it passive, meaning that it's coming direct from the pickups and there's no active preamp in engaged, just the sound of the pickups directly out to the amplifier. Now, with the active circuitry engaged, and again, passive, active. So as you can hear, there's a slight difference in tonality. Uh, the active sound has a bit more top end, um, it's a bit fuller, uh, and the passive is just slightly deader. That was passive, this is active. And I've tried to balance the dynamic between the two so that there's very little volume difference, it's just more about the tonal difference. So let's listen to the difference between the two pickups. First of all, we'll listen to the neck pickup, so I'm going to turn down the bridge pickup here so that we've just got this coming out. So this is the neck pickup. So as you can hear, um, it's a slightly kind of duller tone. It doesn't have the bright top end. So now let's swap over and listen to the bridge pickup. And 
as you can hear, that's quite trebly, quite toppy. It's missing the kind of body. And now let's listen to the two together. Okay, and this guitar also has a tone knob, which is a low pass filter. Um, so the further you turn the low pass filter up, the less top end you have. It basically rolls the top end off of your signal. So you can have a really dead dull sound. And if we turn this this uh, bridge pickup off as well, you get super dull. So you can find this guitar on eBay at the moment. Uh, if you go down to the description, there's a link to the auction. Happy bidding and thanks for watching. Nice. Nice one, mate. <laughs>